The masks are back at the Museum of Art in Fort Collins. It's one of the area's most acclaimed community art events. Mask artists have created more than 215 creative works of art that will make up a 30-day exhibition and silent auction. The museum's executive director, Lisa Hatchadorian, is here right now, and she's going to tell us what you can expect. Good to see you, Lisa. Thank you for having me. What makes this mask exhibit so unique? Well, this is the 14th year that we've done the mask exhibition, and for me, it's the incredible creativity and diversity that we have because we start with a blank ceramic form and it just explodes into 215 to 225 wow. ideas of creativity. So take me there. What will I experience when I walk into the exhibit? Well, the artists are so wonderful. They use every kind of material imaginable. Paint, glass, fiber, photography, wood, it just goes on and on. It's an extraordinary exhibition. How did you pick the artists? I mean, who designs these masks? They're everyone in the community. Oh. We do uh, call for entry and, and we don't jury, so everyone gets in. They're students, they're people from different high schools, they're professional artists, they're, cre they're just creative people. So they're, you know, mothers and daughters and sons and Beautiful. just everyone in the community. That's really cool. Where can we see the masks on display? at the Museum of Art Fort Collins, 201 South College Avenue, and they'll be on display through May 4th. The one we're looking at on the screen is the actual one you brought here live. That's a picture of the Rocky Mountains, right? Someone drew their version of Colorado? Yes. Mm -hmm. Who's the artist of that one? Bertie Braddy. Isn't that pretty? That's just gorgeous. I'm sorry, Barrett Braddy. Barrett, Barrett Braddy. Braddy, okay. And how does the mask fundraiser help support the museum's mission? Well, the masks are for silent auction, mm -hmm. and we also do a gala. So between the gala and the fundraising that we do for the gala and, and other parts of it, it raises about a quarter of our operating budget for the year. Oh, that's great. That's wonderful. When is the gala? April 27th at the Embassy Suites in Loveland. All right. And I want to take a look at the one that's on the screen now. That's also the one that you brought here today, correct? Yes. Okay. And that was done by Pam Turner? Correct. And tell me what her thought process was when she created this. What's it titled? Well, this is an extraordinary mask, and she has a title on the back, Falcon Spirit. And she's looking at artists from the Pacific Northwest and Native tribes. It's so beautiful. It really is. I mean, what a talking piece, too, if you have that hanging on your wall when someone enters. And then that's another great way where you can support the Fort Collins Museum of Art, too. Yes, correct. When is the last time someone can make a bid on a mask? May 4th at 9 p.m. And right now we have manual bidding. So it makes people come to the museum, which is wonderful because that's the only way you can really see the true colors and textures and yeah. everything about the masks. But we also have um, bidding online in the sense that you can get your bid number online and then come to the museum. That is so, look at this one. It's mosaic. It's so beautiful. I love it. I tried to make a mask once. <laughs> And I had no idea, like everybody else was getting like professional artists to do it. <laughs> I tried to bedazzle my mask. It was horrible. I got a pity bid. Oh. I don't know who bought it, but thank you. And I'm sorry. I'm not an artist. I'm sorry. So again, one more time, remind us where the Fort Collins Museum of Art is. It's at 201 South College Avenue, right in the middle of Old Town, Fort Collins. And besides coming to look at all the masks, what other exhibits do you have coming on right now? I mean, what should we come look for? Well, for the rest of the year, we have Awkward Friendly Photos that's coming up in the summertime. And then we're featuring Fort Collins artist Haley Hazler, who does fantastic self-portraits around um, women and being an artist. And then we're finishing out the year with Pigskin Peanuts what? from the Charles Schultz Museum. Oh, my gosh. That's mm -hmm. really cool. And you're the executive director there? Yes, I am. How long have you been the executive director? Three and a half years. Oh, gosh. How fun. You have to have a passion for that. I do. Yeah, yes. It's a hard job, but it's, I love every minute of it. That's wonderful. Okay, let's talk about the basics. When is the museum open, and how much does it cost to get in? Wednesday through Sunday. So Wednesday through Friday, it's 10 to 5, and Saturday, Sunday, 12 to 5. And okay. adults uh, are $5, um, students and seniors are $4, and youth are $1. And you're, it's free if you're six and under. I've never had a chance to visit the Fort Collins Museum of Art, but I hear it's fabulous. If, if somebody's watching right now, why should they make the journey to Fort Collins and come see what you're showing? I feel it's a jewel in northern Colorado. We show local, regional, national artists. It's just filled with creativity all the time, and we really try hard to put together a, a really wonderful season every year. Well, thank you for giving us a sneak peek, and good luck. I'm thank sure a you. lot of people are going to get online and bid. Again, the 2018 Masks Benefit Exhibition is on view now through May 4th. You'll get one last chance to place your bids that night during the downtown 
Fort Collins First Friday Gallery Walk. The silent auction bidding will close at 9 p.m. and top bidders will be awarded their mask of choice to take home to the Museum of Art of Fort Collins. Again, the Museum of Art of Fort Collins is located at 201 South College Avenue in downtown Fort Collins. It's open Wednesday through Friday from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday from noon till 5. Learn more by calling 970- 482-2787 or visit their website at moafc.org.